The VASA is the collective voice for the prevention of domestic violence and sexual assault in South Carolina. We do a lot of um, advocacy, whether that be public policy or with systems to try and improve outcomes for survivors of domestic and sexual violence. We do a lot of technical assistance around best practices for our member organizations and for our community partners. We do a lot of training um, and we also have a legal program that connects low bono attorneys with survivors of domestic and sexual violence to handle civil court cases for them. The first is to get educated, to learn what might be the signs of domestic violence and what you can do to help someone who discloses to you that they have been a victim of domestic violence. So really trying to learn um, about the resources in your community, um, how you can talk to somebody and most importantly if someone does come to you that you, you listen to them, you hear what they have to say, you offer to help them find resources and you don't judge them in any way. Beyond that you can also provide prevention education like talk to your children, to your family members, to your church members, to people that you hang out with. Talk about all the different ways that we can work to build better, healthier relationships in communities across the state. Do we have materials that you can um, access both on our website or we can send them to you that talk about like five ways that you can help a friend experiencing domestic violence, for instance. Um, we have um, on our website information about all our member programs divided by county, so you would just click your county on the map of South Carolina and it would take you to information about them. Um, we also have multiple pages on our website with different levels of information about domestic violence, trafficking, sexual assault. And and prevention programming um, and most of all you could just call us and talk to us um, you could also come to one of our many training events that we have and we do like foundational training for victim advocates we also do large um, full-scale statewide conferences this this week for instance for domestic violence um, awareness month we're doing one on widening pathways to increase access to services for survivors who also have disabilities wow. I think that there are a lot of fears that it has increased domestic violence, but that that domestic violence is even more hidden than it was before. That people thought that services weren't available, or they were stuck inside with their abuser and had no way or no space to call. Also, if their children were out of school, they may not have ever had the privacy to call and ask for help. So even though we know that domestic violence is still continuing, domestic violence doesn't stop for a pandemic, we think that the um, the silence increased. Um, our member organizations are now, as we move through the pandemic, seeing an increase in requests for services, and especially around housing. Yeah. I think, again, I think it goes back to being educated, right? We all know someone who's been impacted by domestic violence, whether that be ourselves, or a close family member, or a friend, or somebody we work with. And so we all have a piece to play and to build communities that really value peace, both around the community and in the homes.